Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial for Hacking Fever. Today I'm going to be showing you how to download and install GameMaker 7.0 and possibly get it registered. Um, just there's a little downside to this is that to get the pro version you either have to pay pay or get a program that might be considered a virus to some uh, security systems. I've uh, heard about that but mine didn't catch it, I don't know about yours. So um, yeah, what you first need to do is just uh, download and install the light version from GameMaker from YoYoGames.com. So navigate to YoYoGames.com, click Make, then click GameMaker 7.0, and then you're gonna have to make an account uh, for YoYo Games because when you click Download again, it's gonna say Are you YoYo Games member? You have to give your email, and it's gonna have to confirm that you're a real person. So. You just have to have an email address first to get Yo-Yo Games. Let me make that bigger. So uh, once you've downloaded Yo-Yo, uh, not Yo-Yo Games, Game Maker 7.0 Lite, um, then you'll notice that there are some features that you don't get because they'll say Pro. So now this next part is only going to be for if you've paid for it, but for some reason you can't get it on another computer, which in my case is true. So what you need to do is just go to navigate to this um, site I'll just have it up on my uh, description it's like keygen.ms whatever and then you just need to say download crack and keygen on this page this is the part that might be considered a virus and this page has a lot of pop-ups so yeah just type in 240305 check the box and download the file save it to disk and then just remember where you downloaded it to because you're gonna need it so here's the zip file just open it up and you should get something extract it and you'll get something that looks like that uh, by Dr. XJ Game Maker 7.0 Dr. XJ just uh, out, you have to download and install Game Maker 7.0 Lite before you do this has a hard time so you gotta allow it to run if you have Vista and then and for XP you can just it's a lot more simpler than for Vista don't ask me why but yeah just uh, select where the, the files located this is usually correct if you didn't change anything during the installation process of game maker so just say kill him and then um, I already have done this so I don't want to ruin it so just say kill him and it'll, uh, it'll make it so that way you can get uh, GameMaker 7.0 Pro and then you'll get this new desktop icon it'll look like this instead of just GameMaker it's GameMaker 7.0 Pro it says by Dr. XJ uh, see and then so when you start it up the first time like I'll just start it up normally without do anything special on this is only for Vista. If you have XP, I think this should work fine. But if you have Vista, you should get something that looks like this. This bugged me for a while, so I figured out a way how to get around it. You just right click on this new shortcut, say open file location, and then see that's the one we've been opening. We need to open the normal game maker, but you have to run it as administrator. Allow it. And then I'll say you need a buy it it'll give you the light screen soon there we go so you'll tell you like why you should upgrade just say don't upgrade now and you'll get the light version game maker 7.0 light just close out of it okay now that you've done that you need to start up dr. xj and let it go up and there's the pro version but if you get the message after you've done that the same message you got the first time just keep on trying to start it up and uh, it, the most I've have to done it is four times and then I'll finally realize that it, it's the pro version so now that you have game maker 7.0 just look at my other tutorials on how to make your first game and uh, many other tutorials that will be soon to come thank you for watching this please subscribe rate comment where you want, visit my site at Hacking Fever. 
thank you for watching this tutorial and I hope to see you soon.